Welcome to A Day in the Life of a College Student, where things didn't go as planned, but God has it all figured out. Good morning. Let's start our day off with some Jesus. So I decided to memorize some verses this morning and then head over to the gym. Did some jogging, did some walking. And then I started to stretch to start out my workout. And then I did some very small core exercises and I love doing weights, more specifically upper body and that's what I focused on this morning. And as I headed back to my dorm, lowered the temperature, opened my windows. Hi guys, I am back from the gym and I am going to eat breakfast now because I am very hungry and what is on the menu today is furfur. Yes, furfur. Furfur is an Ethiopian type of breakfast. So furfur is one of my favorite Ethiopian breakfasts. This and bulla, yeah, it's bomb. And I added some meat meat to it because that always makes things more spicy. Listening to Mazmur after this, I'll be taking a shower, getting ready for my day. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hey, my name is Amen Temeskin and this channel is dedicated towards Christ-centered content with the intentions of being a source of a hope and a light to those who watch. Today, I am clearly at school in my dorm and I'm excited to take you guys along with me. So we already got most of the things checked off, not most of it, but some of it. You know, reading the Bible in the morning, going to the gym, and I wanted to share with you guys what I had learned. I didn't really learn anything new today. Today, I kind of just memorized verses. So wait, guys, no, it, Wait, oh my gosh. I only have one class today and the class just got canceled. Lucky. <laughs> yes. Wait, now what am I supposed to do the whole day? It's already 10. And I like got dressed and everything. Oh, I have to go to campus anyways today. Yeah, you wanna say hi to the vlog, Amy? Hey vlog, <laughs> outfit of the day. Outfit of the day, outfit this check. This is thrifted, this is from Shein, but we don't support. <laughs> what about the Amazon, shoes? And this is from Converse. We don't talk about that. We don't talk about it. <laughs> yeah, okay. So the day in the life vlog is kinda gonna change cause <laughs> I'm not going to class. Day in the life what? of a college student who doesn't go to class. <laughs> oh, that's my life. <laughs> So um, what I was saying is that normally in the mornings, like I'll read my Bible or I'll like study certain verse, but today I kind of just felt like memorizing scripture. Because the way I do it is I use Quizlet. It helps me memorize verses because I can just use it online, if that makes sense. I made my own and it's called Verses to Memorize. And honestly, I'll put it in the description because I feel like people might get help from it. So I just star the ones I want to memorize. I basically use the flashcards feature and through the flashcards feature, I just memorize those verses. A verse that I was struggling to memorize was Galatians chapter 5 verse 13 and I haven't gotten to that part yet in my study. So Galatians 5 13 says, for you have been called to live in freedom my brothers and sisters but don't use your freedom to satisfy your sinful nature. Instead use your freedom to serve one another in love. I don't know if I've talked about this on this channel before but this verse kind of reminds me of like when I think of freedom I initially thought of like I guess the freedom you get when you're in college to do whatever you want. It's very easy to do whatever you want in an environment where your parents aren't going to tell you what to do they're not going to check up on you no one's going to tell you anything your life is your own but um it says to use your freedom to serve one another in love and i think that's a hard thing to do our flesh doesn't want to do that but the lord will help and empower us to do it so that is one verse that stood out to me so i'm getting ready to leave and before i leave i gotta fill up my water bottle grab my snacks grab my card and right before i head out to leave i had some time so i decided to just read a book for a life group that i'm in called faithfully different like i said there's no class for today but i had to promote and table for a organization that i'm in called inner varsity and it's a christian organization on campus and so we we're just promoting the club the different conferences that we'll have coming up it's a really great way to stay connected with your college community and then I had El Pollo Loco, it was a bomb salad, and I had lunch with an university staff member planning out these next couple of leadership responsibilities. Today ended up being a lot better than I expected. I expected to have at least my one class, that didn't happen. Stuff got canceled and then like, it didn't get canceled. It's honestly been a great day with great people. decided to go to the campus duck pond to look at the nature and enjoy God's beautiful creation. I'm not lying, I think the ducks are following me. So I'm gonna keep walking. Yeah. 
not do running. I went to the market, just bought uh, this for the dorms, this for myself, and then I ran into a friend, and she wants to say hi, guys. Hi. <laughs> what do you have to say? My name is Beth, yes. and Salam and Salam and Um, it's so windy. You can fast with Um to the Nugget. Yes. Allen. 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 Exactly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right, guys, we are back in the dorm. Today was such a fun day. Like, so many random things happened that was literally so unprepared for. I did the stuff that I could control, the stuff I couldn't control, it just happened. And I think that's honestly like a lesson in life of things happen and not to be like, oh, I didn't stick to schedule and I wasn't like hard on myself because you guys literally knew <laughs> the things I had planned for the day. Two to 3.30, I'll be in the library. Well, that wasn't what happened. And so that's okay. And that kind of honestly connects to the way that I did my Bible study in the morning as well. Yes, I did spend that time with God. Yes, I did pray as I did worship, but I also just didn't do it in the same exact um, way that I always did. I don't know. I think that's just like a part of life to just get used to things not always going the way that they're planned but just being like hey my hands are off of it god knows what he's doing and it's cool i genuinely had such a great day and i still will continue to have a great one because i'm leaving four life groups in like two and a half hours we'll have worship there we'll have a time in community there and we will also go into a discussion of the book that we're reading called faithfully different wow i just love it if you guys like these college vlogs let me know i love making these <laughs> so as i'm finishing up the life group doing the study questions let's play some music one zamari one singer that came to mind is this guy named yisak means isaac in english and he plays the guitar when he performs and i really like it that guy oh my gosh i love this one so i'm gonna vibe out while answering these questions <laughs> I put the camera down, then I knew this part was coming up for the song, so. So what that means, Yallahum Tawa Dadari is talking about God. So Yallahum is like, there is none. Tawa Dadari is like comparison, I believe. I could be wrong. I'll edit this out if I'm wrong, but <laughs> Tawa Dadari is like someone who you would compare to. So there's no comparison to God. So just repeating that over and over again, like none can compare, none can compare to who God is for the people that don't know about any out there. So you're welcome. Hey guys, Front Life Group. That's Ryan. Hi. Hi. <laughs> okay. After a long, eventful, and fun day. The night is over, it's 10, 15-ish p.m. I'm gonna get ready to go to bed. There are people yelling outside my door, let's get out. That's college for you. Anyways, I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I hope you enjoyed this vlog and thank you guys for coming along with me on this journey of a college day in the life. Bye everyone.